Welcome back to Pilot Stack. We have kind of an unusual uh, simulated malfunction today, which is a stuck throttle. Never happened to me. It's happened to uh, a couple cases that I'm familiar with. Um, things to think about on a stuck throttle is what is the malfunction? What's causing it? Some sort of mechanical actions inside the throttle quadrant, engine compartment, whatever. None of our business. It just has happened. Next, uh, what is the throttle setting when, when it's stuck? Is it at idle? Is it uh, cruise power, full power? So if it's, stuck, if it's a stuck throttle at idle, we got some problems. That's basically the same as an engine failure. In other words, you just cannot increase thrust. If it's a stuck throttle at a cruise setting or full power, piece of cake. Pretty easy, and you'll see on the video, this is how we're going to be able to take care of it. So a couple concepts to keep in mind here during this video is one uh, it's an emergency that we don't have to rush with in other words you're going to see the airplane's going to be well under control the engine's going to be under control and there's no reason to force this airplane and try to get the thing on the ground in the next two seconds it is not a time limited emergency other than if i got four hours of fuel on board uh, i'd like to be on the runway in no more than three and a half hours or so, but I don't need to be on the ground right away, such as engine fire, engine failure, examples like that. So the first thing to think about on a stuck throttle is, back to basics, uh, throttle is creating thrust, what opposes thrust, drag, what are the two drag devices on an air, primary drag devices on airplane, landing gear and flaps. The flight today will be in a Cherokee, so the gear is fixed, so we can't change that drag, but the flaps we can. So one of the first actions you'll see me doing is I'm going to go to full flaps. Full flaps will basically do the same thing as reducing throttle. If I have full throttle, I'm doing 100 knots plus. I go to full flaps, now I'm slowing down to 70, 60 knots. I've accomplished a tremendous amount by getting the full flaps out. Next concept is how do I control minor power outputs? Well, I can't do with the throttle. Well, what else is there? How about mixture control? Most of us learned to fly, and mixture was one of two settings. Full mixture, mixture full rich, I should say. Engine start, cruise, climb, the whole flight. An hour and a half later, mixture idle cutoff. So it's one of two settings. Here you see there's going to be that in-between setting that the uh, I'm going to easily be able to control mixture by minor adjustments. I call it feathering the mixture control, and I can have within 100 RPM adjustments of power. And the next big concept is uh, what I want to do in any emergency is be able to practice up at altitude first, especially on this one, in that since I don't have to rush to get the airplane on the ground, why don't I practice up at altitude, uh, practice how the airplane's going to respond, practice the power settings, see how the airplane's going to work, so that way when I take it down towards the runway, I've already practiced and I know what's going to go on. So this is a two-part video. Part one is going to be just uh, a simulation up at altitude, and then we'll have part two in which we'll take this back into the traffic pattern and take it actually in for an actual landing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, folks, welcome back to Pot Stack. Uh, beautiful uh, California afternoon here in the early fall. Uh, we're going to run through a potential emergency sim simulation here. I'm in a full power climb, climbing through 4,500 feet. There's my desired altitude. As I pitch to level off, I simulate, go for the throttle, and it is stuck in the full position. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, I'm really not too worried about things, because what are my first action? I'm just going to pitch up. I want to get myself below lap speed. And airspeed check, one notch, two notch, three notch. Here's full flaps. That's going to prevent that airspeed from building. Get myself down to a comfortable cruising airspeed. What's that going to be? I call it 90 knots. Okay, so I got plenty of fuel. Got a good three, four hours of fuel left. 
well within airplane limitations. Don't have a lot of temperature limitations. I am at, for the Cherokee here, I'm at full forward trim. About 90 knots, and I'm just holding altitude. I go, well, how am I going to start this descent? How am I going to land it? So let's just simulate my landing airport. Is it uh, 3,000 feet? So let's get ourselves down into a traffic pattern of 3,000 feet. And what do I need to do? I need to reduce power. My throttle's not doing it, so here goes the mixture. The mixture's coming back. Take a look at RPM, starting to drop off. Trying to find a comfortable setting for it. There's about 1,500 RPM. Retrim it. Engine running, certainly is. Let's uh, turn off towards the north here. Very comfortable airspeed, back to uh, about 70 knots, which is a uh, typical final speed. Uh, over a little over 1,500 feet for my assembly traffic pattern. I want to add some power. Close the picture up. Good. I'll take some power off. There's idle cutoff. Add some power. Take some power off. So I'm just sitting here just feathering the power, feathering the feathering the mixture. Because this is what I'm gonna do in the traffic pattern. Good speed, good vertical speed, about five hundred foot a minute. Coming up on a thousand foot above touchdown. I'll pull some power off. It'll do it. Worst case, big downdraft. There's all kinds of power. Immediately power response back. So I'm not just going to go idle cut off and glide into the field. No reason for that. Got all the control in the world here. There's my airspeed 70 knots, 800 feet to touchdown. There's my airspeed back at 70, good vertical speed. Off a little bit on the high side or fast side, I can pull that throttle back a little bit. Coming up to uh, a turning final situation here. About 500 feet above touchdown. And landing checklist is simulated completed. About 300 feet to go, a little bit low, add some power. There's my power available. Cut it back. Not the best for the engine, for the engine mounts here, a lot of vibration. Nice long runway simulated in front of me. Oh, a little bit low, add some power. There's my power back. And come to 100 feet to touchdown. Make sure I'll cut off. And take it into the simulated flare. No problem. I recover from this. And to go throttle idle. Make sure full rich. Power back to full. And I climb out. Simulation complete. So, something else to add to that pilot stack of knowledge. You get a stuck throttle at a lower RPM, well, you got a problem. That's the same as an engine failure. You get a stuck throttle at a mid RPM, mid throttle position, or full piece of cake. For today, work, uh, working in a carbureted engine, fuel injected, um, identical. There's really no change. So again, thanks for viewing, and please hit the like button, and please be a subscriber. And one more item to add to that pilot stack, and someday what I would so much love is I get that email, hey, I saw that video a year or so ago, I had that same problem, you helped save the day. But would that make, uh, would that make my day, year, or career? So this is what we're shooting for. We're trying to make those pilots as safe as possible. So see you next time, and uh, enjoy your day. Yeah.